Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So it's a little bit different today. It's gonna be kind of like a vlog style, but I'm gonna be doing an at-home pedicure. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step. Step. So trigger warning now, if you don't like feet, then don't watch. But anyway, I know that a lot of salons are closed, so that's why I wanted to do this video. So anyway, if you'd like to see my before and after, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so this DIY at home pedicure, yeah. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you come on back and watch um, and hang out and talk to me. I love getting to know my viewers and subscribers, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I do have a manicure set right here. I have two foot files, a brand new pair of socks, some um, cuticle oil, foot scrubber, <laughs> nail file, nail polish remover, foot lotion, foot scrub, and foot soak. Okay, so here are my feet. They don't look the best, you know, wearing sandals and walking around barefoot. They're pretty, I've got some calluses on the bottom, so, and old nail polish, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get these little tootsies taken care of. Okay, so I'm in my filming room. I'm trying to do a way better job on this video than I did my manicure, so I'm still working on editing and filming and you know how it is, but anyway, so I have a, baking dish because I don't have a foot soak tub but um, I'm gonna be using these this cool mint foot soak right here this is actually from Dollar Tree so this is super duper affordable but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit in here I'm also gonna be using some apple cider vinegar um, it can help to naturally exfoliate so we're gonna just give that a good shake and we're going to pour, I'd say probably about a quarter of a cup. And then here I have a big, huge measuring cup. How much does this even hold? Eight cups. Holds eight cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. Not going to do it all the way because I still got to get my foots in. But... Obviously, if you have a foot tub or something, that's going to be better. But I'm just going to let these little babies soak, and then I will go ahead and start scrubbing and all that stuff. Okay, so I've been soaking for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get this little face scrubber mitt. You probably saw it on a video, but I've been using it on my feet, and I really, really like it. And then I'm going to get some of this cool mint foot scrub. And I'm going to go ahead and just use that to get my feet exfoliated. So the thing is, don't be embarrassed if, you know, you have some, you know, little beat up feet from the summer. It happens to everybody, so don't worry about it. Um, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. But yeah, just, just don't worry about it. It happens. It happens to everyone. I do have some pretty bad calluses, so I'm going to start there. Just give these a really good scrub. The heels, the ball of the foot, wherever you do get really dry, calloused skin. Just go ahead and start there. Sorry, you probably see my cat litter box that I'm going to be using to prop my feet up on. <laughs> Remember, this is budget. Okay, so I just got done soaking my feet, so I just have a clean little towel here, and I'm just going to dry off my feet, and all that. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to trim my toenails. I know, guys, sorry if this is gross or weird, but, you know, you want to trim your toenails. Well, number one, okay, you want to do them straight across because you can get ingrown toenails if you kind of dip down into the corners, and you want to trim your toenails when they are still like damp and like soft 
so that way they're easier to get through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, then we'll take off this old crusty polish. Okay, so toenails are clipped, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just use some acetone nail polish remover. I'm just gonna take off this old polish. Oh, I love getting old nail polish off, it's great. Okay, so polish is off both feet, and so now I'm going to be using a foot file thingy. Um, I like this one just because it does have the little thing to catch um, all that foot file shavings, but you can also get like the double-sided one, so there's like a smooth like pumice area, and then like this is just an actual kind of grater, and this does come off and it does hold files filing, so I'm just going to make sure I'm going to be very gentle and I'm just going to start working on my heel. When it comes to your feet, maintenance is super important. Um, so making sure that you're moisturizing your feet every day, everything like that. Um, obviously if you're a diabetic or if you have foot issues, you might just have to go get this professionally done, whether it's getting your toenails clipped at the doctor's office or whatever. But um, Obviously, if you do have neuropathy or anything like that, you might not want to do this yourself just because, obviously, if you go too deep or something, it can cause an infection. So, just make sure you are being safe about it. But, I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on my feet and getting all these calluses off. Never use a blade at home. I know some people, they'll use like a razor blade or a, uh, like an actual like hair remover razor. You don't want to do that because you can cut into the skin pretty deep, so make sure you're using like a grater type product. Okay, so I just got done filing my feet. Looking way better. I can't, if your feet are really bad like mine were, you don't want to go in too hard. Um, because this is going to take some time to get these, but they look way better already. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on some foot lotion right now. Let's see here. Ooh, accidentally did too much. But it's from the same line, the Cool Mint. And we're just, and the thing is, is like, if your feet are real bad like mine, make sure you are really, really um, putting on that foot lotion. It's okay to totally slather them up. That's going to, what's going to help soften those calluses. So next, what I'm going to do is you can totally go in with some cuticle oil. I'm just going to let my feet just bathe in the foot lotion. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting a brand new pair of slipper socks. Don't be jealous. Yes, these are from the hospital. They have the best slipper socks. Anyway, but um, brand new pair of socks here. I hate wearing socks. That's why my feet are so bad. I just don't like my feet being all confined. I know it's weird, but brand new pair of socks on. This is going to help go ahead and like trap in that moisturizer. Um, before you moisturize, if you do have like a foot mask or something, you could totally do that. But um, yeah, that's, you know, I last step for me is always foot lotion and socks. But that is it. That's how I do an at-home pedicure. Um, you know, after you do foot lotion, you can go ahead and like use nail polish remover again. And at that point you can paint your toenails. Make sure you sanitize all of your, um, foot care tools. Like I'll go ahead and sanitize the nail clippers and my foot file. Um, I just have a little spray bottle of alcohol that I use. Um, that way you're not going to be, you know, introducing bacteria into your skin next time that you... Um, do a pedicure. If your feet are real bad, um, I would definitely recommend doing a pedicure at least once a week and all that kind of stuff, but it's, it feels very refreshing. It feels really, really good, and I really, really love doing a pedicure. This took me about 45 minutes, so it does take a little bit of time, but it is definitely worth it. 
Um, I'll go ahead and link some of my favorite products down below. Um, they will be an Amazon affiliate link, but you're welcome to use them, but you definitely don't need to. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. Um, do you professionally get your pedicures done or do you do them at home like me? Love to know down below in the comments. I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare. I have another um, YouTube channel where I upload daily on um, budget food. And I also have a Facebook group where we chat and have fun. Um, I'll have all three listed down below if you'd like to check them out. And you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones. I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.